Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. And on today's tutorial, I want to teach you some um, some balance tricks. And I don't know if you've seen this kind of stuff all over the Instagram and Houdini threads. I don't know, for a couple of years, people have been like um, using Bellum to create some pretty cool looking weird uh, weird results. So today we're going to be exploring a few of those uh, those results and how, how you can achieve them. So the first thing that I'm doing here is that I've got a face scan of a woman that I got out of uh, this website. I don't remember the name of this website, but I know how to search for it. I'll show you guys. Uh, 3D scan bundle military pack. I don't know, I just remember this and when I type this, I'll get the name of the store. So it's 3D scan store. And here you can find some really cool scans, like head scans and stuff. So I bought this model here a really, old, a really long time ago. Um, so it's not something to use in commercial, not, not a commercial use, it's just for tests. Um, so that's that. I reduced it to quite low resolution to like a, a two so that I could do some tests on it. And then I did, um, I'll show you, I built this from scratch. Uh, I put down a grid so that I could have it play with a grid and I'm going to type Velm struts. So you don't want to use this when you want to use the Velm struts soft body. You connect it to the right input and then the collision to the left input and then we're going to type Bellum Solver. So, uh, as you guys know, Bellum is incredibly powerful for cloth, for grains, for uh, struts, as in this example. So, these two nodes is essentially what turns it into a strut and this is what's going to run the simulation. So. With that said, it already has a negative um, 9.86 uh, gravity, so it's gonna fall when we hit play. And uh, we're off the bat getting some pretty cool results. Um, so what I wanna point out is that this geometry that I have has UVs, so I'm gonna do a UV quick shade here and I am going to use the UVs that come with this model. There we go. So uh, let's go ahead and hit play again. And you want to hit this button here so that you can visualize this real time. So you can imagine the possibilities, right? This already looks pretty funny or pretty cool. If you look at it from down here, you are also gonna get some pretty weird results. And I am using low resolution, so, so that's that. So here's another example of something that you can do. So I put down a box and a mirror of the box. And let's have a look at this, restart. And let's hit play. All right, so we can start to see some issues. It's not going through. Um, so there's a few things that we can play with. Uh, you you can play with the the sub steps. Or we can also have a look at um, the stiffness and the bent stiffness. So let's see what happens if we reduce this to say a one. You can see it's become way less stiff but pretty unstable. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just cut that into the middle, but let's try that. There, 
if you wanted to use that low in sometimes depending on the geometry you'll have to increase the soft steps but i want to see how much i can get away without increasing the soft steps just yet we will in a little bit So let's see what happens when we increase the sub six. Increase it more, and right now I'm just testing, just testing to see what's the right number. Let's see, let's take it down again. Let's come here. Let's do 100 and then here and the bend, I'm going to redo that. So that way it's going to bend more. Does look pretty weird. See what happens if we reduce this more, this one as well. So as you can see, many of the parameters that I'm actually tweaking are the stretch, the stiffness. Um, depending on the simulation, I will change the rest length scale quite a bit as well. And sometimes you also want to play with of course the soft steps like we were doing a little bit earlier but yeah this is closer to what i wanted to to get like have her kind of like squeeze through this thing Which is so odd. So you can see like 
possibilities on this kind of stuff. Like, they're pretty, pretty incredible. The kind of stuff that you can do with this. Something that I would recommend is maybe using subdivisions in the end like this to give it a little bit more detail. And then lastly, um, lastly, we can do a quick camera animation. So maybe if you come here and we track her down, animating just two parameters, then towards the end. So yeah, and then the other thought is like maybe you could do like subdivisions of render time to increase the detail a bit more. And there we go guys, this is kind of like a, a quick example of how you can set stuff like this up, like imagine you're bat hitting her or like something, her stuck to some sort of geo and she moves, like the possibilities with realm and struts are quite infinite. Um, Alright guys, uh, and you can also like paint in attributes to control how much it bends and how much it is affected, but if you think that would be a cool tutorial, leave a comment and uh, I'll leave back with more.